Lords and ladies, please give a royal welcome to our maestro of musical madness, Sir Samuel of Morocco. And now, Lords and ladies, good gentles all, please welcome those loquacious lovers of legends and lore. Those versatile viscounts of voluminous verbosit as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, what are you doing? I'm speaking French. You're speaking French? Oui. And why are you speaking French? Well, since our story is set in a small provincial town in France, I thought it'd be a good idea to sit the mood. <laughs> sit the mood? Oui. And how long have you been speaking French? Well, what time is it now? That's what I thought. Actually, it's time for you to introduce our royal guest. It is Louis. <laughs> Madame and Monsieur, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you here today. And now, we invite you to give a warm welcome to our royal visitor. C'est one. C'est one. C'est one and only. Mademoiselle Belle. <laughs> Jones and Mr. Smythe. Oh, bonjour and welcome to the Royal Theatre. Why, thank you. I'm so excited to be here and help tell my story. Yes, so we, in fact, we should be playing most of the roles in your story. I shall pretend to be Gaston and I shall pretend to be uh, the Beast. And you shall pretend to be Belle. But I am Belle. And you will be marvelous. Why, thank you. I'm sure you'll be marvelous as well. <gasps> Did you hear that? Another rave review and we haven't even begun. And so we begin. Places, please. A scene in the village. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a delightful demoiselle named Belle. And it was on this particular morning that uh, you made your way through your small provincial town of the Impact. Thank you. Developments. Early places. Magical spells. Daring tools. Heroes in disguise. Happily ever afters. Little did Belle know that today would be her lucky day. Hello, Belle. Hi. I'm Hi. so sorry. I promise not to keep stopping. What is it? Well, it's Gaston. Yes, Mr. Jones is pretending to be Gaston. I know, it's just that Gaston had much bigger muscles. Chuck. <laughs> and he was just a little bit taller. Of course. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> and, well, he wasn't very, um, bright. Sure. Let's take it back to my life. Little did Belle know that today would be her lucky day. Hello, Belle. Hello, Gaston. I bet you didn't know that today would be your lucky day. Oh, um, Eau Claire is in town? Nope. Jean-Marie Le Prince de Beaumont is here for a book signing. Uh, no. <laughs> I know free turkey legs for everyone. Huzzah! No! Today is the day the Hollowbell's dreams come true. And what do you know about my dreams, Gaston? <laughs> well, I actually, Gaston knew nothing about Belle's dreams. All he really knew was, I'm the most eligible bachelor in the village. I'm strong, I'm handsome, I'm derriere. Debonair. Exactly. <laughs> I may call the ladies swoon. Not all the ladies. Ah, oh, yes, there was one exception. Belle, you're the most beautiful girl in the village, and that makes you the best. And don't I deserve the best? <laughs> Is close to getting away. When? No! Say you'll marry me. I'm sorry, Gaston. I just don't deserve you. Well, she's right about that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Was that a yes? Uh, no. But not to worry. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Right. Matter of fact, I know a lovely young lady. Yeah. Redhead. Nice set of fins. I'll have Belle for my wife. Make no mistake about that. <laughs> returned home only to find that her father was missing. My father is missing! I must go find him. Picture, if you will, a young lady embarking on a nocturnal quest. Fleeing in fright through the forest, she comes upon a dark and mysterious castle. Little does she know she's about to enter the beastly zone. <laughs> Silk can speak many different languages. Je m'appelle Lumiere. Brackets of Deutsch. Permanecer sentados, por favor. What is happening? Well, Belle is in the library with the candlestick. <laughs> Beyond that, I haven't a clue. <laughs> you see, mademoiselle, this is an enchanted castle. We can all talk. All of you? Yeah, but of course. Oh, my name is Goldsmith. I'll say this. No, oh, and I'm Mrs. Potts. <laughs> and I am Lumiere. Candles and teapots and clocks. Oh my. <laughs> Belle soon understood that the castle was indeed enchanted, and as she continued to explore, she discovered a magic rose. It's beautiful. Suddenly, out of the shadows sprang forth a beast! Ah! A hideous beast with crusty mm. yellow fangs, gnarly matted hair, and pewter rotting breath that smelled of garlic and old milk, emitting an odor so foul, so repulsive, so outrageously stinky, that any living creature would wither in its presence! Are ah, you finished? Play on, fell creature. Ah, what are you doing here? Well, I was wondering. Well, I'm just quick to I didn't mean any harm. Get out. Where's my father? Get out. So, Belle finds out that her father is in the dungeon and offers to take his father's place. And the beast agrees, letting her father go. As long as Belle promised to stay with him, the beast in the castle is great for the beast because he's so lonely. But bad for Belle because who wants to live with a beast? But good for Lumiere, of course, and this is Potts, because maybe she'll break the spell and they can all be human again. And, uh... You see, the beast was once a handsome prince. Oh, but because of his selfishness, the spell was cast upon you. <laughs> And all of us who live in the castle. As for the rose, it too was put under a spell. 
it continued to bloom until this, the prince's 21st year. As you can see, the petals have begun to fall. But if the beast can learn to love another, and earn her love from the last couple of falls, ooh, the spell will be broken and we will all be human again. If not, he will remain a beast for all time. What's the use? She never seen me as anything but a monster. Well, perhaps there is a way for her to see the good in you. But how? Ooh, well, to begin with, you must learn to be kind, courteous. Oh, you simply must be highly blocked, the prince you really are. Unfortunately for us, the kingdom's three leading experts on princely behavior are with us today. This will never work. Oh, you must try for all our sakes, you must try. Are we, we, are we, are you to simply help you? Be your best. Lesson number one, the rainbow. Place your left hand in the right. Is that your right foot forward? You put your left hand in, you put your right hand out. Then you That's what it's all about. Ha. Listen to me do the royal dance. Sir Samuel, some of the royal dancing music see me play on. Move the name on me, put your arms up and here we go. Huh? And the sway, and the sway. Without you, the royal kiss. Oh, oh, oh. Play it, Sir Samuel. You are now officially a gentleman. Are you ready? I can do this. For bear. And now, Madame Monsieur, please welcome the charming and delightful. heart was pounding. How could he begin to tell her how he felt? He knew for certain that he loved her. Well, I'm sorry that I behaved like a, well, a beast. It's all right. Perhaps I jumped to conclusions. It's true, you know, I really can't judge a book by its cover. Ah, so it is right. It likes to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. Ah. Ah. 
No, you did. Yes, I did. No, you did. Yes, I did. See? Gentlemen, let's take it back to Mr. Smythe's line. I believe it was. <clears throat> Rawr! <Rawr! laughs> <laughs> 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 it's all the beast. Well, it's mine. Beast? Well, did you honestly think she'd watch you when she could have someone like me? Please don't give <laughs> <watch. laughs> <laughs> Get out, and don't ever come back! Beast! Hell. Look out! You can tell I'm falling, right? Beast, you can't leave me. Not now. Maybe it's better this way. Don't talk like that. You'll be alright. We're together now. Everything's going to be fine. You'll see. At least I got to see you. One last time. Please, don't leave me. I... I love you. As the last petal fell from the rose, it seemed that the spell would never be broken. That is... It's held magically into rain from the sky. Like shooting stars, sparkles of light fell from above. Rising from the ground, the beast appeared to float before Belle's eyes. And he began to change. What had been the hideous beast was now transforming. And through the power of true love, at long last, the spell was broken. Huzzah! The beast was once again a prince. And then came my princess. We all played happily ever after. Hello! Lord and ladies, let's have a well round of applause for Princess Belle. The legend never ever forgets the Samuel on the broken. Thank you.